Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. It's something a little bit different for you guys to watch. Um, I'm aware I look very, very tired, a little bit shattered. I look, I look shocking. Uh, I need to shave, I need a haircut. Haircut about two months ago, probably. Um, so yeah, I look a little bit, a little bit iffy. Uh, but a box just arrived. Um, you probably tell why I'm tired in a minute. There's this weird little creature thing down there, look. Yeah, that, that's, that's why I'm tired, that thing. Bobby, Bobby the toy poodle, if you're wondering. Anyway. Um, I would do a separate video probably on our new creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, lo 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 lovely. This will be the most unprofessional unboxing you have ever seen. As my dog barks, please stop barking. Um, these are the move controllers, you have to actually buy these separately. And they are quite pricey, I'll be honest. And certain games will need them as well, so they're probably worth picking up if you are going to buy the VR. But um, yeah, move controllers. So this is the brand new camera. You actually need to actually work the VR, so you need to buy this. 100%. I believe you can use the old ones. You have, there's like an old version of the camera. You can use that as well. That should work fine. And I guess this is like a part of like the, the review version. So this is Live the Game. So inside you have like a little book. Welcome to PlayStation VR. As my dog is about to attack it. Which would be unfortunate. So loads and loads of information. Uh, I need to get some codes actually. I sh there should be some codes in here as well. The game is coming out for the VR. This is only for the press and like reviewers and YouTubers and stuff, so... I just showed you a password, so I'm going to have to cut that bit out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a password back there. Lots of review codes. So I can check out lots of games as it slowly gets dragged away. Uh, I want to... No, no, please don't do that. No, no, okay, great. Anything I put out, he's just going to chew, so... Fine, fine. Anyway. Yeah, so I was right. On the actual VR box, you need the PS4 and the camera. These required to actually make it work, so... Have to buy a camera, and we're about to open the box. Dun dun dun, and it's getting attacked. <laughs> Everything's getting attacked. I'm so sorry, PlayStation. Ooh, ooh, I like. So that's now opening up. Calm down, doggy. Calm down. That's exciting. I'm excited too. But you got to calm down. So it's like a big manual. Lots of nice bubble wrap. There we go. Dog play. Keep you busy. Um, here's all the leads. So there's like an extra box, that's like a processor for the VR. Uh, power cables, headphones, lots and lots of things inside. Power cable, a UK plug, yay! So here's a USB, it's like a mini USB. Nice, nice and long as well. And here we have some PlayStation headphones, these will actually connect to your VR. So obviously you can listen to all the gloriousness sounds and stuff from the games. Cool. So it's like a, a power brick. That's the first time I've seen Sony do a power brick, I think. And here is the processor unit. So this is where the power, the extra power for the VR comes from. So cancel the leads up, that's where the power goes into. And this is how the VR actually works. It's like a sort of mini PS4, I guess. Weirdly, the new PS4 is obviously very curvy, but this one is very spiky and very boxy. Uh, and here we have more instruction manuals, guarantees, instructions, perfect. Uh, we have whatever that is. So it's a VR demo disc. Ah, oh, back in the day I used to love these. I used to play my demos so much. So, so much. Yeah, so VR is required. No shit. We have a, a dust cloth. I guess you can sort of clean the screen of the VR. That is some cool design, I like that. Need some help? Call for backup. Uh, again, some more leads. Well, this is a HDMI lead. Pretty basic. I believe this is like an extension cable. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to extend it, say you're going to play on a sofa and it's quite far away from the VR unit, you got like a little ex ex extension cable. There we go. Right, so here's the main part of the adventure. It's in here, the VR units. Oh, yes. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's all packaged away nicely. So there's the cable. Oh, it's out. Oh, look at this. Oh, it looks so good. That looks really good. Hello, barking dog. Um, yeah, the wire's coming out of here, of course. Um, that's what it looks like inside. Like a little nose thing here. So I guess that keeps the, the sweat away or something. So it's really cool sort of like Mass Effect snake skin thing. Looks really good. And there's the, that's where your eyes sit. That's where your nose sits. It feels very comfy, lots of padding. I like it, the design looks really good. 
as cool as a VR headset can look. To adjust the size, you just gotta press this button and it goes backwards and forwards to adjust the size. I believe it's like a sort of final adjustment. See this little thing here? So sort of twist it and it sort of tines up a little bit. So it's like ultimate comfort. But again, the padding feels really good. Uh, I won't really know until I use it, but yeah, it feels nice and padded. I love the sort of snake skin look on the, uh, the sort of material here. Looks good, looks snazzy. Right, the first cable has been inserted into the processor unit. So it's just going in the back there. So that's going into the TV. Also, a quick little side note, um, please update your PS4 first. Make sure it's up to date 100% and sorry about the mess. There's mess everywhere. <laughs> this is mess everywhere, I'm sorry. I'm so unorganized. So what I've done now is now inserted the new PS4 camera into the PS4. So that's all connected up. There's so many leads, there's so many. So what I've done now is put the HDMI cable from the PS4 into the processor unit. So that goes into the processor unit, out into the TV. Next up is the USB into the mini USB port. It's all now connected. I believe it may need some power still, so we're not done yet with cables. It's getting a little bit bonkers. So next up is the power. So the power comes into here and goes to the UK plug socket through the power brick, and there we go. It's now got power. I will organize this at some point. It's, it's a bit of a mess. Understandable, but I will make it better. Right, a slightly mini correction. Uh, oh, see the power in there. And it's already dusty. Wow. Um, yeah, don't ignore that. Anyway, so I said this was actually like an extension cable right here. I was wrong. It is not an extension cable. So this plugs into the front and then this plugs into the VR unit itself. So this is a massive long cable. It looks very robust. I'll give it that, but that's, that's a very long cable. So what we could do now is match up. Uh, so X and square goes in the front. Ooh. Still moving. There we go. And then match this one up as well. And that should be ready to go. Right, that's both in. And what you can do is drop this forward. It's like a gun. <laughs> it's a bit random, but it works. So it's now nice and flat at the front. So you can see there, it's nice and flat now at the front, which is a nice little touch. Makes it nice and neat. If you have like a nice little display cabinet, I, I don't. So that's pretty much how it's going to be for now. So what I'll probably do now is probably put this probably behind my unit and then bring out the other side and probably lay it on the floor maybe and then connect it up and then ready to go. There's a long cable though. It's very, very long, but again, it looks quite robust. So hopefully little dogs can't bite it. I hope, fingers crossed. All right, I'm now on the floor about to install this baby. All right, so again, X and square, boom, and triangle and circle. Boom, that's now connected. There we go. Just hope these cables can last because if someone chews them, like my dog, that's my camera, Bobby. Nope, nope, okay, lovely. Okay, great. And there it is guys, the VR connected up. Oh, the hype, the hype is real. So I can turn it off and on, I can mute it, or I can do plus and minus, and there's the headphone jack as well. So yeah, good to go. He's chewing it already. So it literally lasted about two seconds. Look, oh, that's great. Okay, wonderful. All right, as far as I know, we are ready to go. So I'm gonna turn it on, my PS4, and then I guess I've got to turn this on as well. Oh, it just beeped, something beeped. I think it's on, we now have a white light. Yes. All right, uh, I guess we're good to go. Where's my controller? It's using the standard controller. I am now ready to go. Does anything happen? Ooh, update now. So that's the VR. You must update the VR device software to version 2.0 or later. The current version is 1.5, okay. And it's done. Also, my screen looks terrible. I'm sorry. What I'm gonna do now is actually record the, I'm actually gonna capture the screen now because it, it, it looks so dirty, the monitor. I'm sorry. Right, next. Um, yeah, I understand whatever this says. Healthcare, yep, wonderful, lovely. Oh my God, it's me. Got that mess. Oh God, that's embarrassing. Um, okay, yeah. So I've got to play quite far back away from the screen, which I guess is fine. So that's where the heads, oh, it's got light, blue lights. Ooh. Um, so I guess, I guess that's, is that okay? I'm gonna go okay with that. All right, fine, do it. Uh, I can experience the 3D audio. So here we have a, a button just there. So if you press it, oh, also, 
See the X, the square, triangle, circle. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, so if press this button, uh, it does that, it moves it. So I guess it's pretty quite good for people with glasses. So if you wear glasses, you can move this bit and it sort of sits, the glasses sit in front of the lens, which is a nice little touch. So this is the button at the back, which I've already shown you, just there. I've got quite a big head, so I'm gonna put it quite far back. Ooh, I can now see the headset. It's still quite tight. Yeah, it actually works quite well. So you press the button at the back and then sort of put it over your head. Seems to work for me. And you can adjust it a little bit more as well. And use that little cog. Remember that cog I showed you earlier? That makes it a little bit tighter. All right, now I need to find my controller. Ah, so it sort of recalibrates it. So now I'm looking at the screen correctly. Okay, that's cool. Um, so if I just make it sit a bit more... What I found about VR, I was trying to find that, that, that perfect position where it's nice and in focus. And I think I found it already, which is nice. Uh, next, what I might do is just move the lens away a little bit as well. Ooh. So it's asking me to adjust the scope position, which I've done already, so that's all done. So I've now got it firmly on. I've lowered the headset band. Continue. Uh, turn the dial and adjust. So yeah, just tighten it if you want to. I'm fine with what, how it is. Adjust headset position. So I believe everything is clear. Yeah, actually it's very, very clear. I've used VR a lot before and it's not normally this clear actually. It takes me a little while to get my decent position. Everything is clear, I think, roughly. There we go, that is actually spot on, looks so sharp. Once you get that, dark, once you get that right place, it, it feels so good. I think I've got a dog currently chewing on that cable already. So this is gonna be a test. It may cut out at some point. Oh man. Uh, enjoy your VR experience, you're, you're ready to go. Nice! And it's quite easy to calibrate as well, you just press the option menu and that's it. Wow, you can see my menu in VR. That is weird. So what we're doing now guys is go back and actually record a VR game on the PS4. Very, very excited. I record the face cam, do some gameplay capture, and you guys will see it very, very soon. I'm very, very excited. It didn't take too long to set up, there's lots of cables, apart from that, it wasn't too bad, I'd say. It was okay-ish. Um, just follow the instructions and they're quite basic. And all the calibration was easy. All you do is literally press the option button, hold it down, and it recalibrates the screen, which is easy. If everything goes well, expect some VR games today to come up on the channel. Be excited for it, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye bye.